Hello friends, it's Yukika. Today I'm doing a eye coloring tutorial. This is a commission I did five years ago that I started to redraw for fun and then repurposing into an eye coloring tutorial. The character's eyes are blue, so that's where I'm going to start off. On the layer beneath the liner I already made for the eyes, I'm going to fill them in with that base color. Off to the side, for your convenience, I am also making a palette of potential colors I may use in her eyes. I usually use analogous or complementary colors, or even a combination of them when I'm coloring eyes. I typically don't do this normally on my own, but for your sake I am doing it so you can see what colors that I may or may not use. To start off on shading, I make a new layer and clip it to the base color. I choose a vibrant but dark purple and fill in the top half of her eyes. I notice a lot of people when shading generally go for a similar color that is slightly darker and less saturated, but that generally tends to make things look very flat, very bland. I want the eyes to really pop and draw a lot of attention to themselves. With the purple I choose, I'm going to blend and or blur it, depending on what you're using. For the pupils, I'm going to draw ovals in the centers of her eyes. Unfortunately, I mistakenly used the wrong color, using the blue I was demonstrating with for the bland color before, however, I'm going to use this to my advantage. I drew over top of them with the purple that I meant to use, and now the eyes look more dynamic than if I hadn't used the wrong color on accident. Next I'm taking the eraser with a lower density, and I'm erasing little notch marks in her eyes. In a strange way, this is replicating the details you would find inside the irises. Then with the same tool, at the same settings, erase out some shines in the corners of the eyes. Please make sure when you are doing this to pay attention to your own light sources. For a little bit more depth, I'm using a dark blue around the eye shines I made, and then a more purple color to match the eyelashes a little bit better. On another layer, I'm going to borrow the lavender I have in the color palette I made, and create somewhat of a bar going through the middle of her eyes. Then I blur towards the top. At this point you're probably very confused, and that is because I'm going to use this lavender to multiply on top of the other layers. Using hue saturation, I'm going to tweak the hue a little bit and make it slightly more purple. You can find this if you are using Paint Tool Sai in the filters option at the top. Using that same purple, I'm going to mimic the little notch mark details I was making before, but this time I'm going to draw them in using that same lavender color. Making yet another clipped layer, I'm going to set it to luminosity and select a gold, almost even brown, color in the color picker. This is going to be the highlight, and instead of choosing yellow, I want something darker because luminosity will make yellow highlights too light and they will be pretty much white. I want more color out of this. I simply make some circles out of this color in the bottom of her eyes and blur it out. I also use lower opacity so it isn't quite as bright and provides a smooth gradient into the dark colors at the top of her eye. Next up is my own special little eye coloring technique that I've developed over the years of drawing Animu. I would recommend you, like I have, experiment a lot and find something that is your own and works for you. AKA Dismine Please Don't Steal Things. To start off, I create random circles in the eyes closer towards the bottom and sometimes towards the top. Using the eraser, I erase bits of the middle to make them look like bubbles. On another luminosity layer above that, I pretty much do the same thing, but with smaller bubbles. After a few sparkles, her eyes kind of look like they belong to a mermaid or something. On top of that, with an overlay layer, I'm going to make more bubbles in yellow and blur some yellow into the bottom of her irises. This provides the yellow and blue complementary colors that make her eyes pop without looking out of place. The last aspect to coloring her irises is some final highlights, which I'm doing in purple. Since luminosity layers make things really bright, as mentioned before, I'm using a dark purple. However, for contrast of the eye shines themselves, I'm using an even lighter purple and blurring it into the bottom. Then I once more erase their middles out to create a bubble effect. I turn down their opacity so they aren't too bright, then I add some sparkles. After a finishing touch, I add a middle ring in a lighter yellow and some final eye shines that will leave fully white. You can go over these with the airbrush tool to make them glow. The final touch is her eyelashes. I do my liner initially in a brown color, which does not really match what I have going on so far at all. 
Using the darkest color I used in her eyes with the eyedropper, I airbrush onto the liner layer of my eyelashes more towards the center. Closer to the ends, I eye drop another blue color from within the eye and airbrush the ends. Then I go over the ends again with a skin tone color or a pink color depending on the image so that when I color the skin her eyes will somewhat blend into the picture. The bottoms of the eyes will get a lighter color airbrush as well. I also make sure the line art by the eye shines are lighter since it doesn't really make sense to have line art on top of a reflection of light and generally I put the eye shines on another luminosity layer on top of the line art layer, but for this tutorial I didn't because I'm lazy. Once I'm satisfied, all of the layers get merged into one, including the eyelash layer. Normally with coloring images, I do all the shading on one layer. However, the eyes I like to put a lot of detail into, so they generally get way more layers along the way. And then I am done! Hopefully this video was helpful, and I really hope that it helps you colorize on your own and experiment on your own as well. So thanks for watching. Next video will be a tutorial on drawing the eyes themselves. You can also take a look at my Twitch channel for live drawings and ask questions you need there. If you want to see another tutorial, let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks again. See your friends.